In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the aspect ratio and the resolution of your renderings. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to see what the final result will look like of your rendering and what size the object will be in relation to your rendering size. Just as a reminder, if you click Setup on Scene Settings, you can change the background from a solid color to an environment. You can also add in custom environments and HDRI images. Next, when you click Render, you can click different aspect ratios here. I can click Portrait, or I can click Square, or Presentation, or Widescreen. But when I click these, it doesn't update the viewport window here, so it can be difficult to see what you're actually going to get. One way that we can change this is if we go to Scene Settings and Setup, then we can go ahead and scroll down to the bottom, and then we have Aspect Ratio. We can change this to the viewport aspect ratio so we see exactly what we have on the screen. We can change it to one to one square. This is great if you're using the maximum render resolution because now I can position my object and I know what it's going to look like in this square. Or if I do a four or five portrait, I can then see what that would look like. I can move this down here and really position to see what my rendering is going to look like. Or if I did a landscape, I could have it like this and make the object pretty large. This way it fills up and I get lots of pixels. You can also change the focal length of the image so you can have a much more, you can have a much more fisheye type situation or you can go more telephoto depending on what you want. And of course you can also add depth of field and you can pick the center of focus which is by default here in the middle. And then you can change how much blur that you want on the object. So that can be nice as well. I'm gonna turn the depth of field off. Hopefully this allows you to set the aspect ratio of your renders here. And then that way, when you go to the render workspace, you can change these pixel dimensions. So if I change the width to 4,000, it's gonna be linked. And I know that it will still look like this when it's done rendering. It'll just be a much larger image. Happy rendering in Fusion 360.